make sure it's on this map where it is, you can you get direction. And then that will route you from where we are to the restaurant. So it's routing the from Microsoft and America to the restaurant. Um, and you get text based directions come up here. Um, so you can scroll through them and then you can set that up to email it to you, text it to you, or print them off. Uh, so you can take that information away with you as well. Um, and then the great thing is you can just start exploring the area nearby. Um, you can switch between roadmap view and satellite view as well. Um, and then the great thing is you can zoom right the way out to the world. And if you go anywhere in the entire earth, it's very easy to use, you just spin it if you think that. And then to zoom in, you pick a point, tell a part, and to zoom out to the opposite. Um, please have a play. That looks pretty good, doesn't it? A lot of people throw up at their houses. Got to find you out tomorrow. <laughs> <laughs> so it's not actually touch screen technology. Um, so that that's how it works. Yeah. So you can't get 52 contact points with traditional touch screen technology. So things like iPhones and iPods of this form. So where it differs from the technology. Yeah. Um, you <laughs> come here to find the college. <laughs> that was great. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, uh, there. Was there? So you notice you can zoom in quite a long way. You still get a good high quality picture. How close can we get? Um, I think that's about, yeah, so that's about the most you can see. Oh, that's a little tiny. That's a really good quality. Yeah. How much is zoomed in? Um, it's, yeah, it's been out just over 18 months. Um, it's 8,500 pounds. So it is quite expensive, but a lot of the cost... <laughs> a lot of the cost goes into the cameras, the easy them for cameras. Um, just did touch screen, so a lot of the cost goes into that. You can put a little web on this. Uh, yeah, so in the background, it's with the phones and stuff when you put it on the top. Um, you can teach it to recognise objects. Um, so you put a barcode on the back here, um, and then that will basically reflect the light back in a certain way, which you can teach it to remember. Um, so you can put that on your phone and then teach it to have the phone. <laughs> so I don't think they I don't think they photograph the Antarctic because it's just white. <laughs> well, it's got paint on as well. It has, yeah. yeah. Um, Yeah, but that's the one we love. <laughs> so this is basically just paint on the surface. <laughs> oh, hey. Who changed the colour? <laughs> <laughs> um, and the great thing is, if you hit this button here, you can change it and now the colours are new. Ah. Don't run over my name. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, but I got yeah, we're not yeah, we can do it. Yeah, we can do different ones, can't we? Yeah, you mean so do it down as well. Oh, that's yeah. not. Yeah, because we're going to have a good side. And write it in iPro 2020. Do the two big orders. How is that? Oh, I'm in charge. Oh, it's just harder upside down. It's all the time. It's good upside down. Yeah, it's a two I struggle with. They did the last group in there as well. They couldn't do the two upside down. <laughs> <laughs> iProv. Thanks for the iProv. <laughs>